tackle storage. How many different containers do you have? How much money have you spent trying to find the perfect system? Uh, I'm moving towards what I think is a better system today. I'm using tools instead of toys. Stay with me and we'll talk a little bit more about it. If you haven't, please subscribe and like and we'll get at it. Let's talk tackle storage. Everybody's used to Plano. Some people are getting into Flambo. There's new uh, uh, things on the market. To me, so far, for the price, these are all toys. Uh, I'm moving away from uh, what, what is claimed to be waterproof but is not waterproof and gets my tackle wet and then half a season and my expensive hooks and, and are rusted out. Um, the rust inhibited ones have gotten so costly. I mean, you're paying 20 to 50 bucks for tackle storage that holds, you know, just a, a small part of your gear. It can, it, tackle storage can get crazy expensive in a hurry. So, uh, although I'm phasing out of some of this, uh, I'm still using this Flambo one here for some terminal tackle, uh, but I've made a, a pretty big move in a different direction. I uh, started it, tested it out last season. It worked perfectly for me. So what I have done is I have abandoned the toys and gotten the tools. Uh, and this is an actual Craftsman Versa Stack organizer. Uh, this thing is uh, stackable. It's got locking clips so multiple uh, multiple units can clip together and you can carry multiple units at a time. Uh, like I said, they're stackable. There's 10 compartments inside. And we'll show you some pictures of, of uh, some of the baits and we'll go to a separate video about how I've consolidated my baits to bring out the things that are most effective and that I use the most. I'm not carrying my entire bait room or uh, you know where I've got a pegboard with 500 baits hanging on the wall. I don't take that into the boat with me. I consolidate. I try to be smart about which ones I'm bringing in the boat so I'm only bringing four to five of these in the boat with me at any time. Um, but they're stackable. They've got rust proof locking lids. They've got a uh, polycarbonate see-through lid so you can see what you've got inside of it. They've got 10 storage compartments within them. They've got, they're all removable. They've got side trays. They've got two big ones and, um, and, and uh, several small ones you can reorganize depending on what you're using that particular box for. They've got, they're all gasketed around the entire perimeter of them. They're the lid is deep and these latches are strong. It's not a plastic clip that breaks like on the Planos. Um, there's a little better locking latching mechanism on the Flambos, but again, those are plastic. These are metal. These, this is indestructible in my opinion. Uh, they're a little bit heavier, um, but I'll take the durability and the waterproof uh, aspect uh, of it over the, over the weight of it any day. Um, this thing weighs about five pounds, uh, um, four to five pounds empty, filled full of crankbaits, seven pounds, loaded full of plastics, ten pounds. So ten pounds is the is the heaviest one that I have. Most of them are in the in the seven-ish range, um, which I don't think is is a bad trade-off. You know, if you've got five of these in the boat and you're under fifty pounds of tackle, I still think you're in good shape. They sit nicely. They're, you know, they're, uh, like I said, they stack. Uh, they fit in the compartments well, and they're very, very organized. Um, and here, here's the big thing, money. Uh, if you go out there right now and try to buy the Plano Edge 3700, you're gonna pay 24.90, 24.99 for that unit, and that's 14 by 9 by 2 inches. Like I said, this thing is 24.99 at Flea Farm. Uh, this thing is 17 by 12 by 4 inches, so way more space, way more durable, has a international protection index for waterproof. Now that uh, national or international standard rather is for splashing in any direction, it'll keep the water out, right? It'll remain dry with, from a splash test from any direction. 
Um, and if you're just getting splash, that's like a rain event. Um, it, you know, these have held up for some people being submerged for a short period of time. But if you if you're submerging your tackle, then you got more problems than just uh, getting your your hooks rusted. So uh, great value, I think, durable, and uh, my go-to here uh, for this for this upcoming fishing season. I'm not playing around anymore with expensive uh, tackle solutions where you've got to buy twice as many of them to get the tackle that I have in, in what I have for the value. So um, that's it. Craftsman versus stack. Uh, using a real man's tool.